advantage here. This is where Wilson has been good. Off this hairpin are the chicane and through the Peraltada. Oh, this is close. End of the season close. Four laps to go as the leader comes by. Clear ahead. Four more laps. And the gap down to less than a second. Bourdais took 1.3 seconds out of the lead the last lap. That's a huge chunk. That is big. Bourdais is particularly good in the brake zones, it appears. Craig Hampson not showing us all of his cards, obviously, a moment ago as he chatted with Jan Bikas. I am so surprised that Bourdais' tires are as good as they are. What a call it appears to be by Bourdais to certainly put him in a position to maybe make a challenge here. Wilson with an eye on the mirrors. There'll be three to go next time by. Wilson hoping for a back-to-back -back win here at Mexico City. Bourdais would like to be seven for 14. He would like to claim victories in literally half of the Champ Car World Series schedule this season. And a come from behind drive and he's right there. So how much push to pass? Wilson has 47 seconds. Is that enough? Bourdais has 29 seconds. He's burned a lot of his. So Wilson can play defense. He can be on the button here the last several laps on the front straightaway. Jeremy Dale, the president of Roo Sports, watches. A lot of people from. 29 seconds, 29 seconds. Now remember, under these circumstances, Bourdais right there. Bourdais right on the back wing of Wilson's car. He's trying to get the run out of the hairpin. On the outside now, side by side into the Peraltada. Now you can use the push to pass. They're side by side still. To the front straight away from the lead. Bourdais wants the win. Oh, Wilson's trying to hang on. Oh, Bourdais gets out of the loose stuff and almost loses it. Pass. Great job there. Man, looked like Bourdais was on the high side at Eldora there for a moment out in the wet stuff. Jeremy Dale looking on from the Roosport timing stand. Bourdais was slow, or, uh, Wilson was slow through the chicane, Jan. I'm just speculating. The place that Wilson had the most trouble muscling the car when he started to lose strength in his wrist was at the chicane. Yes. So that yeah, may not have been track conditions. I wonder here in the waning laps if he just physically is having a hard time getting it through there. It's, ex it's exactly the question we asked him at the top of the show. He says, I don't know. I don't know if my right wrist will be strong enough towards the end of this race. He is in a fight right now. Riding with Justin Wilson, Bourdais the champion right there. Wilson with one win this year, Bourdais with six. Wilson the winner here a year ago, defending his position. These two started on the front row. Wilson the pole sitter. Bourdais knows now that he cannot ride round the cushion on the outside of the Peraltada. He's got to come up with a different strategy. He has to be close enough to Wilson to at least get a draft down this long straight if he's going to make an attempt to pass. Two laps to go next time by. They're on the back side here at the Autodromo, Hermanos Rodriguez. Cushion. That's an Australian term, isn't it? Oh, oh, here it is again. Oh, Wilson's good. Good this time. Much better this time. He knows yes. there's heavy pressure on him. He doesn't allow Bourdais to get alongside this time. They'll oh. get the two to go from J.D. Wilbur this time by. That was a great shot through that chicane by Bourdais Justin only Wilson. Got 15 seconds. He's not using it. Two to go. Bourdais not using it because he's they're down. both on he's the button. No, no, they're both on the button. We have the telemetry. They are both on the button. Wilson played defense and got on the power to pass button. Oh, Paul Newman is here. He did make the trip. He is watching his team. Sebastian Bourdais, his driver. Bourdais unable to chop into the lead last time by start finish. Three quarters of a second to gap for Sebastian Wilson. Still has three seconds. He has one more shot. Who has? Bourdais, Bourdais. has one more squeeze of the button. Now he gets a full front straightaway burst even though it should, the clock shows three seconds how much does wilson have 19. okay so he, he can, can match use him. it a couple of times here. he can match him there's it looks as though bourdais would not have some on the last lap there's his dad patrick bourdais right there still races himself in france made the trip to see his son and he's enjoying this white flag this time by the leaders right there Justin Wilson, Sebastian Bourdais, nose to tail on the backside through the S's. And Bourdais knows he can't pass him through the S's. Now, as you come off the last left-hander right here, oh, Wilson stretches it, which means Bourdais cannot outbreak him down the inside to the chicane. Here's the chicane. Just do what you did last time. He's got to be flawless off the corner. He was. Bourdais is closer, though. He's closer. 
White flag this time by Wilson by three car lengths over Bourdais. Hit the juice. Need to use it here. Last lap, last lap. But Wilson's on the button. button. Bourdais is going to sell. And Bourdais jumps on the power to pass button as well. Wilson plays defense. He's watching the mirror. You can see his eyes. Two of the best here going at him. Last time around this 2.77 mile circuit. Key break zone. There's the McDonald's team versus CDW. This is as good as it gets at the end of the season for the last race. Last lap, last race for Alola. Wilson by a car length. Here comes Bourdais. He's going to try the inside. Wilson defends. Bourdais has room. Risky move. Risky move at the S's. Wilson makes his car wide. Oh, Bourdais on the inside. Oh, there's contact. Oh, pieces go flying. Bourdais clipped Wilson and took part of his wing off. You got to finish this thing. You still have one more application. Bourdais clipped Wilson to get the lead. Oh, there was contact. Bourdais got into Wilson, trying to bonsai him on the inside of the corner. Yes, he did. Down the inside, got it sideways in a slide. Looked like a bit of a Paul Tracy type move. And Bourdais keeps it straight, and he looks like he will be the winner. Now the question is, will there be any review of the pass? Because there was definitely contact and oh, Wilson's in trouble. Wilson locks up the brakes, goes through the bus stop. Bourdais will scoot home. J.D. Wilmer and Jim Swintall with the checkered flags in hand on the front straightaway to close out the 2006 Champ Car World Series season. Sebastian Bourdais will be first under the checkered flag in Mexico City. Wow. What a race. What a move. What a champion. No indication from Champ Car Race Control that they're reviewing the pass by Bourdais. It appears that Bourdais has won his seventh race of the season, a last lap pass of Justin Wilson. When there was contact, parts flew after the contact. And Wilson, not impressed. Not impressed. I don't think that was malicious. I do not believe that was malicious. So Justin Wilson led a ton of laps here today in two different stints, but gives up wow. the lead on the final couple of turns to the champion, Sebastian Bourdais, who closes out 2006 with his seventh win. Here it is again. He made it, tried it early on. As he goes down the inside, he locks up the rear brakes. He realizes he puts his front over the curbing. And then his dad on the left side of your picture, Patrick Bourdais, and the rest of his crew realize, I think we might have won this thing. A three-wall bank shot by Sebastian Bourdais to take the lead away from Justin Wilson on the final lap of the season. And that's the most smoke I've seen from Donuts <laughs> this year because of the wet weather soft compound tires. What a race. Well, Derek, what do you think? Was that a legitimate pass for the win? Yes. Even with the contact? Yes. Sebastian Bourdais wins his seventh of the season in the McDonald's car number one. All right. A lot of stories to wrap up in 2006. And we will be back to do that for you in just a moment here in Mexico City.